Okay, we can see right away since the limit of the natural log function as t goes to infinity is infinity, okay? So we never come to rest and we never stop moving. But after a few seconds, it's going to take us about forever to go another 10 centimeters, okay? It's going to take us a long, long time. We'll be dead before we get, you know, before we get another meter after a certain point. Um, so uh, the other thing is that at some point our velocity decreases to where we're in the linear realm for the drag coefficient. In other words, drag coefficient proportional to velocity. So we will come to rest. We will transition from this uh, assumption to the previous assumption, okay, which does allow us to. But, you know, just assuming that that doesn't happen, let's just see what we lose by assuming some reasonable time, okay? Okay, at two meters per second, if we went four meters, well, if, we, if our velocity did go to zero, and it goes very near zero, then we're going essentially from two meters per second to zero, our average velocity, if velocity changed linearly, which it certainly doesn't, but if it changed linearly, we can conclude that our average velocity would be about one meter per second, it would take four seconds, okay? Well, let's assume it takes a little longer than that because the velocity decreases quickly at first. Assume this. And now see what we get up here. 